rear window hole regulator doesn't work. That's all right. At least it's up. All right, now we're going to do the first doors lock. Terribly happy. But it moves. <laughs> so, again, we will see. Oh, I got the eco thing. Oh, it's because the econ was on. Alright, so we'll leave that. But uh, yeah, it seems to move. What does this do? Let's see where the hell the uh, mileage is. Oh, that's the dimmer. That's cute. Yep. Yeah, well, beats me. Alright. Very good. Alright, now to clean the garage. All right, well, doing a little more sleuthing, uh, this thing here, I think its last owner was a buy here, pay here lot, would be my guess, that has given up on it, given all of these electrical malfunctions. So, typically, I would expect those to not... What the hell? <laughs> Maybe that's why it's got so many miles on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we've got a couple of CDs. What do we got here? Carlos Vives Tengo Fe, or something. And Motedares. Okie dokie. I don't know what that says about anything, but we got that too. <laughs> yeah, this was used as an Uber. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Again, that's probably why it's got a lot of miles. Oh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Wow. Pile of receipts, most likely for the Uber stuff. Garbage. What is this? This is its Carfax report from Curry Honda. When was this kicked out? How many miles did it have on it at this point? 15,000. Well, okay, this was when it was sold to its second owner in 2014. Well, wow, that's pretty wild. This is a, an eight-year-old Carfax report. It'll be interesting to match up with the uh, new one that I have that shows it's the rest of its stuff. Yeah, this was when it was a one-owner car. It was purchased for one year, driven 16,000 miles in its first year. It does have XM, which is nice, because I may be able to put an antenna in it. Good Lord, what in the wide world? Of... More Uber garbage. Uber. Okay. Well, the person I'm not going to show you the name, the person who owned it was apparently Catholic, which is interesting. All right. So, got some tithing envelopes. <laughs> That's interesting. See if there's anything interesting in the book. Sometimes I write stuff on my books, but nope, it's all there. 2013 Civic Hybrid Warranties. Doesn't matter, it is out of them. Okay, so that's pretty neat. I got the original salespeople. Yep, from the first person who bought it. It's kind of nice that we got the, got the book. But what I'm going to do now is try to find the OBD2 port, see what's going on in that thing. So, here we go. Oh man. Alright, so we're scanning it. Found it. 
thought I had that running while I was talking to myself, but I guess not. But uh, we're doing the auto scan right now. We're going to see what we can come up with. So, back in a few. All right, let's see if we can get the glare out of there. See what we got here. Engine PGM FI, whatever that is, no fault. That's that's good. Automatic trans, no fault. Nice. ABS, one fault. Let's take a look. Modulator control unit power source circuit IG low voltage. Okay, that's cool. Could be battery. Supplementary restraint system. Show fault. Open or increased resistance. Okay, that one's interesting. Open or increased resistance in the driver's airbag inflator. So it may need an airbag, which is interesting. That's pretty wild, because according to everything I've seen, the bags didn't deploy. But that's interesting. Body electrical's good. Hydraulic booster, whatever the hell that is. Three faults. All right, hydraulic booster. Got three codes in that. Control unit low voltage, control unit stuck off, F can calm. Okay, interesting, interesting. TPMS, two faults. Tire three low air, and another F can calm. Interesting. EPS, whatever that is, three faults. VSA system, motor power supply voltage, control unit power supply voltage. Okay, I don't know what VSA is, but power supply voltage again, that's interesting. And a lot of uh, voltage stuff. Electric powertrain, IMA, this one bothers me because this is the big one. This is the one that if it's dead, that's the $1,500 bit replacement battery. But I always, I expect any one of these cars, hell, it's, it's, it's uh, nine years old that it's going to need a battery, so... I factored that in. Bypass contactor malfunction. Yeah, that's that's not good, but we'll work on it. We'll get there. What else we got? No fault. No fault. And we're back to the top. Okay. Well, I have saved these, so we are going to now erase them all. And then restart the car and see what happens. Okay, I cleared all the faults, and the only one that's left is that contactor in the IMA, which is bummer. But every one of the other ones passed. So that's good. Now there are no more faults except for that one. So, I have... Shut, killed the whole thing dead. Now we're going to unlock it, open the door, turn it on, act like we're getting ready to go somewhere, and see what comes back. Well, that's a fair bit fewer. Got the brake system, that's interesting. SRS, the airbag, yeah, we got something going on with this airbag, so that's okay. Charging system. Yeah, IMA, we know we got that fault. Brake system. An airbag. All right, well, that got rid of about four of them. So, let's go back. Yes. Let's do another scan. And see what we get. All right, well, that's much better. So we got the uh, ABS doesn't have any more faults, which is good. Those were low voltage related. 
So we got the SRS. That's going to be this airbag thing, I'm thinking. Yep. Opener increased resistance and driver's airbag first inflator. That's going to be an interesting one to troubleshoot, but we're going to get it. I've already saved this one as number two. Body electrical, nothing. Hydraulic booster. I think that's for the steering. I think that's the electric power steering. Or maybe the brakes. Maybe that's why the brake system is on. F can comm malfunction. That's interesting. We've still got the comm malfunction right now. TPMS is actually working now. EPS, no, that's actually electric power steering, so that's working. All right, IMA, this is the big one. Bypass contactor malfunction. And who knows, maybe that's a CAN system thing. I don't know. We'll find out. And that's it. We've got one, two, three faults. And uh, brakes, IMA, charging system is interesting. That's kind of silly. Anyway, where was I? Okay, yeah, so uh, throttle position seems reasonable. Yep, that does stuff. Short term trim. It's good. Big EGR error. That error. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. Barometer is about right. Forty-five point one percent. It's still reading the battery, so that's interesting. Closed loop fuel. All right, so we're back to the start of that one. Let's go to a different module. Read the codes. Hybrid battery pre-charge contactor circuit. That's going to be interesting. Same thing. Hybrid battery voltage drive motor A inverted voltage correlation. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right. It's got a live data. Engine coolant temperature seems to be about right at 178, so that's good. This is all pretty pretty much the same. All right, nothing impressive there. The specific codes well 1437 1440 15 a5 hybrid battery power off circuit yeah all right so that's gonna be interesting these are just the straight OBD2 codes Let's see if we got any more interesting live data still haven't found the charging voltage which is pretty wild Nope, this is all the same garbage. All right. Component test. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Huh. 
All right, we're going to go check the uh, check the voltage. All right, well we just we just checked the charging system and it is absolutely not charging. Uh, the battery's good. It was at 12.2 till I started it, and then it went down to like 11.8. So it is not charging at all. The DRLs work, which is neat. So that's kind of cool, but uh, I think that's going to be it for tonight. So anyway, we'll be back. We're going to get this thing. We're going to get it. We are going to get it. I don't know what that brake system is, but that's uh, that's unique because it doesn't have an electric parking brake. It's got a manual parking brake. See that? That works. So. We'll start where we start, and we'll finish where we finish, but uh, the half screen is functioning. <laughs> That's kind of neat. So, cool. Well, you'll see where we go with this thing. Hope you're all having a good day. Take care. We'll be back.